Hello everyone and welcome to another one of RC Street Shop's product reviews. Loaded with features and excitement. Here comes the lunchbox. It's a custom sport van from Tamiya. So today we're talking about the Tamiya lunchbox. A lunchbox, you say? You probably didn't say that because nobody says that. But anyway, uh, the lunchbox is one of Tamiya's uh, original 100, and it is a really cool kit. Um, I recommend if you've never had a lunchbox before, you got to have one. It's just a part of history, and they're super cool. So let's jump into this. What do you get in the box? So since this is a kit, you don't get squat. Well, you don't get squat, but you also get a motor and a speed control and a whole box of parts. It's in late 70s, early 80s van. It's super cool. Uh, it's got the big window on the top, and uh, it's got all the graphics are cool. I mean, it's it's a fun, fun kit, and it's not the kind of thing you're going to go out and take out and smash on your friends with. This is a really fun kit to drive, and I recommend you and a couple friends get some lunch boxes, and you just go around and tear stuff up. It's a blast to drive around the front yard and things like that. Um, the mechanics of it are pretty simple, but this truck has an ABS plastic tub, uh, and then the rear pod or the gearbox and motor are all one piece. Um, it doesn't really make for the best suspension geometry and this truck's pretty bouncy, uh, but it wheelies. Man does it wheelie. It'll wheelie at pretty much any speed. Um, the front suspension is got uh, control arms or A arms in the front. Uh, there's friction shocks front and rear. This thing is the definition of bump steer. Good lord does this thing bump steer, but it's from the 80s guys. The 80s was a long time ago. And I guess bump steer was cool back then, so, yeah. Anyway, like I mentioned, you're not buying this thing because of the way it corners. You're buying it for nostalgic reasons or just because it's a blast to drive around. This particular lunchbox is the Black Edition. Uh, the lunchboxes have been available on a few different versions. This is the Black Edition, one of the special edition models. Uh, what that means is that it comes with a black molded body. It also comes with, a, uh, with black molded uh, wheels. This particular lunchbox has... Chrome wheels, which are from the Midnight Pumpkin, which uh, I believe is a vehicle it shares a chassis with, or at least they were pod. Um, so I like the chrome on the black, but uh, the black edition is all blacked out. The only chrome stuff on the black edition are the bumpers, the uh, side skirts, and the, uh, the rear bumper. Uh, other than that, the standard lunchbox, which I believe there's been a blue edition, a black edition, and then the standard lunchbox. And basically what the addition, the color of the edition means is that the wheels and the body are molded in that color. Uh, the standard lunchbox body is molded in white, which means you can paint it any color you want. I guess you can paint the black and blue editions any color you want too, but then you're wasting your money buying those because I believe that the standard lunchbox is in the low $100 range and the special edition ones are the blue and the black. I don't think the blue is available at the time we made this video, but Tamiya is always re-releasing things, so uh, it may be available in the near future, and there may even be a different color version of it later in the future, but usually Tamiya would do like a blue and a black, and then that's it, and they'll kind of recycle those special editions. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but uh, the you know, it, getting into the mechanics of this, uh, it's got a, it, basically the pod in the rear is, it's a solid axle, it's the motor and everything's built into it, so all the running gear is separate from the chassis. I believe I mentioned earlier that it's, a, it's an ABS tub uh, frame, not much of a frame, it's pretty much there to hold the old mechanical speed control and the monstrous electronics you would have had back in the 80s. Uh, the servo, we chose to do a tactic radio and a Protec servo on this because they're inexpensive. Uh, you don't need crazy electronics in this thing. You know, the, the, the tactic radio is around 50 bucks, and the servo we used from Protec is about 50 bucks. You combine that with a standard uh, lunchbox kit, and you've got something that's just over $200 and is a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, if you were to buy this as your first kit, which I probably wouldn't recommend as your first car, but uh, even if you didn't have anything and you had to buy a charger for a nickel metal hydride and a nickel metal hydride battery, you should be able to get out of your local hobby store or from RC Street Shop for around 250 bucks. Which, you know, it's not the cheapest car out there. And as far as performance for the dollar, it's pretty low on the scale. But 
I don't think you're going to have much more fun than you can have with a lunchbox. Um, the kit comes with bushings. The popular hop-up part for this is Tamiya sells a bushing kit. I believe it's 5 by 10 bushings all the way around. It gives you bushings for the transmission, for the wheels. Um, also, there's a light kit for this. It's just the standard Tamiya light kit, which is around 100 bucks. This has light buckets in it for the headlights, which is pretty cool. And uh, also, oil shocks are an option. This has friction shocks front and rear. And uh, it's a little bouncy. And like I mentioned before, this thing has a ton of bump steer in it. But you're not buying this thing for performance. You're buying it because it's fun to drive around. Uh, also, there's a big nostalgia factor with this. You know, you'd be hard-pressed finding someone who hasn't had a lunchbox or didn't know someone who had a lunchbox or didn't see a lunchbox. I mean, it's one of the more iconic vehicles in RC. Uh, those first 100 Tamiya cars, you know, the Sand Scorcher, the Bruiser, the... Uh, the Mad Bug. I mean, there, there, there's so many different cars that they did that were uh, really iconic and pretty much responsible for how popular it is our RC is now these days. I mean, Tamiya and Kyosha were kind of at the forefront of things, and uh, Tamiya built some really cool stuff in the 80s. I mean, not to get nostalgic on you, but I'm going to. You know, back in the day, you'd walk into your local hobby store, and there'd be Tamiya kits all over the place, and you'd I can remember as a kid just looking at the lunchbox going, this is the coolest thing ever. It looks like a real van. It's fast. I mean, and by today's standards, it's not. But still, like I said, this is something you buy for nostalgic reasons or kind of as a toy to play around with. Or you build it and stick it on the shelf because it looks cool. Uh, I mean, the, the body on this thing is basically a... The body on this thing is basically a blank canvas for those of you who can airbrush and paint well. I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff on the side of a lunchbox. And the crazier you get, the better. So, in closing, the lunchbox is something I suggest you give a try to. Or actually any of the vintage Tamiya kits. I, I recommend trying one of these out because you, it's a basic kit. There's not a whole lot involved in it. You can build it in a couple hours and go out and have some fun. So, if you want a lunchbox, where can you go? Hmm... RC Street Shop! We are at 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California. We're on the corner of Spring and Bellflower. If you don't happen to be lucky enough to be in beautiful Long Beach, it's not that beautiful, give us a call. 562-425-9000. Also, you found us on the internet. You found us on YouTube. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we're on all the popular social media sites. Check us out, give us a message, tell us you like the videos, or tell us you don't like the videos. We're always open to feedback, but most of you out there seem to like them quite a bit, so we keep making them for you. And until next time, see you later.